since I have got all of the sidebars uh, registered and added, it won't show just yet. In order for us to show the sidebars, there are a couple of things we need to do like we discussed last time. We need to create a file called sidebar.php. So if you take a look, it says there are two steps. First, create sidebar.php. So let's go ahead and create one. So I'm going to go to my themes root directory, Aquila, and I'm going to create a file called sidebar.php. Okay. And inside of the sidebar.php, I'll just add some comments. The sidebar containing the main widget area and then add package Aquila. Okay. And then inside of this, I can create a semantic HTML, which is a side semantic HTML tag and then ID let's give it an ID of secondary and then role complementary okay and then inside of this if you notice it says that display the sidebar using dynamic sidebar function so this function is used to display the sidebar right so I'm gonna use dynamic sidebar which sidebar do you want so I want the first one so there are two sidebars that we have created right so there's one which is our main sidebar and the ID of that sidebar is sidebar one, which is this. So if you take a look about of the function definition, it says that by default, this function displays the sidebar or sidebar one. If your theme specifies the ID or the name parameter of its registered sidebar. So even if we don't pass any parameter over here uh, while calling this function, it will automatically by default pick up sidebar dash one, which is our first sidebar. But let's go ahead and be explicit. And uh, let's say si sidebar one, we want the first sidebar. Okay, awesome. So, okay, so we've got a sidebar. So this is our sidebar template, which contains the code for the sidebar for displaying it. And this is the function that's used to display the sidebar. Now, in order for us to, so since we already have the, our primary sidebar, then all we have to do is just call this template wherever we want to display it. So I want to display it on a single post page. So let's go into our theme. Let's go into the front end, and I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to this post. So this is my single post, right? And I want to display on the right hand side. So currently, just displays the long one single post but what we can do is we can use our bootstrap and we can display it so what we're going to do is go to our single dot php which is this and then take this whole thing which is our okay post and then create a div with an id of row Okay, because in order for us to use the grid system, we need to use the class of bootstrap, which is row. And then I'm going to create a div with the class of call large eight. Okay, so basically the first one I want, the first column I want to have, I want this to have eight columns area in when it's large column md eight when it's medium I want this to have eight and call call small twelve. So when the screen is small then I want this to have twelve of them. Okay. Now for the second column I'll say call launch I want this to consume four columns. Okay, so eight plus four is twelve. M D four call SM12. Okay, so in the first column, I want my post. So I had copied that all of the content of the post. So I'll just po paste it over here. We'll change the name from this container. We'll just make it like post wrap. Okay, and this whole row, I can actually take this inside of the container, right? So div container. All of the code is available on GitHub. So you can take it from there if anything does not make sense to you. Okay, so, and in the second one, 
uh, we just want to have sidebar. So how do we do that? So remember that it says if you want to display, if you want to get that template, the sidebar.php template, all I have to do is get sidebar function, call the sidebar function. So that's what I will do. So I'll say get sidebar. So this is going to go ahead and call this function and include that template. Remember that we did speak about creating different template for each sidebar. So what we could have done is probably created a file called sidebar dash the name of the sidebar dot php and then if we were doing that then we had to pass the name of the sidebar into the parameter okay so it gives an example over here if your sidebar name was special then you will create a file called sidebar dash special dot php and specify special in the parameter which is here when you were calling like this but in in our case we are not doing that you know uh, we are keeping it separate but there are different ways of doing the same thing so it's up to you so currently since my get sidebar which means the sidebar dot php already is specifically asking for one single sidebar there's no ne there's no need for us to create multiple files for that if if we weren't doing that then probably we would we would have uh, you know created separate files just to let you know okay so get sidebar this is going to get this sidebar dot php file and that's going to display that. I also want to go ahead and show that to you how it works. So I will go ahead and make a few changes. Let's move this div over here. So now I have this post wrap here. And then if have post while post and if. And then let's close this. So there you go. So you've got row, you've got the first one which contains post, and you've got the second column which contains sidebar. So let's take a look. Let's go ahead and refresh the page. And there you go. Congratulations. So you can see you've got row, you've got the first column which contains post, and the second one which contains widgets. Awesome. Great. So these are all your widgets, and this is these are the same widgets that is coming from the WordPress dashboard. And that's what we registered. So if you remember. If you go back to our dashboard and one way was using the widgets which is this you can see these are three widgets text calendar and tax and that's what we have over here and that's what we have over here text calendar and tax okay and there's another place you can add the widgets like I explained which is customize so if you go to customize uh, you have this widget section so you can add your widgets from here as well so currently it's saying that it doesn't have any widgets so you have to go on to the first page first this page first and now you can see that you've got these widgets okay all right brilliant so I think I'm just going to move this uh, preview nav link as well inside of the post column because they belong there not at the bottom so what I'm gonna do is just wrap them inside of a div so what I'll do is I'll create a div and I'll give it a class of priv link and another one will be next link and then I'm gonna take I'm gonna copy this and then paste it here and this one as well okay and then I can copy this and I can just put a comment and then I don't need this inside of the container because I already have a container on top so I'll just cut this and I'll come inside of the first one because that's where they belong where we have our post and I'm gonna put that over here like so so let's take a look so I'll go over here refresh and there you go you've got our next and previous post awesome great okay uh, so we've got it displaying into the first sidebar uh, we also want to display the second one and for that what we'll do is we'll go to our footer.php so we have our footer.php 
and inside of the footer.php we already have footer so probably we can take this in h3 okay and then what we are wanting to do is over here I'm not going to I'm not going to call this template I will rather just call the function you could create different files with different names of the sidebars like explained but I'm just showing you that this is also an approach that's available so you can go with what you like what is your preference you can check if it's active so there's a function called is active sidebar so you can check if that sidebar is active so what's the name of our second sidebar let's take a look the second sidebar that we registered is sidebar 2 that's the idea of it so let's copy this which is your footer let's copy it paste it here and then if that is the case then I'm going to go ahead and call a side inside of this remember what we did inside of sidebar.php we called this dynamic sidebar function right that's what we're going to do so we'll go back to our footer.php and then we'll just call this function sidebar dynamic sidebar but this time instead of calling the sidebar 1 explicitly we're going to call the sidebar 2 because that's what we want for our footer that's it so inside our footer we're just checking if the sidebar is active if it is then go ahead and call the dynamic sidebar function which is going to display the sidebar with an ID of sidebar 2 which is our footer sidebar so let's go back refresh and what do we expect we expect that I should have all of my sidebars over here of course it doesn't look that great but we, w we will worry about the styling later on okay so regarding the styles we'll come back later but just to let you know this is how you display them all right awesome so I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already uh, all of the code is available in my repository which is Aquila and please start my repository and follow me on github if you like my work and do nominate me for GitHub stars by going on to stars.github.com slash dominate. I would appreciate that. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.